All right, this is homework help for for Tuesday. Tuesday's homework help. All right, week four, Tuesday. It says the triangle X, Y, Z with vertices. And these are your points here. We have X is negative six and negative four. So we're going to go ahead and graph that. And again, I'm going to make my X and Y a little darker. Negative six, start here. That's to the left six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Positive four is up. One, two, three, four. This is my ordered pair for X. Okay? Do not forget, an ordered pair, the first coordinate is your X coordinate. That's left, right. The second number is your Y coordinate. That's up, down. Okay? Uh, left, negative. Right positive, up positive, down negative, okay? All right, zero and six. Right here is zero on the x-axis, and you go up six. It's positive six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is your y coordinate. Z, negative four, and two. So go to the left. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two. This is Z. So now I'm going to connect these points. This is my pre-image without the tick marks. This is where it started. It says 180 degrees counterclockwise. Well, 180 degrees is two turns. This is two turns. And counterclockwise is to the left. That's going in this direction, the opposite direction that the hands go on the clock. So we're turning it to the left two times. So watch when I do that. When I turn it two times, I go one time this way, okay, two times. That picture is upside down, and it's in this last um, fourth quadrant here, okay? So we're going to write down what those uh what those ordered pairs what those ordered pairs are scrap piece of paper right on scrap sheet all right so our um z prime where z is moved to when i turn it is right here that's now go to the right one two three four so that's positive four and down one two so that's four comma negative two x prime okay x prime is to the right one two three four five six and down one two three four so positive six and negative four and y prime is zero and is down one two three four five six so zero comma negative six all right, you see how I wrote those ordered pairs down? When I turned it, which makes my picture upside down, the new triangle um, is going to be in that fourth quadrant, so I write those ordered pairs down. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my picture, or I'm going to turn my page back to um, facing, back to the right direction, and I'm going to graph these points, okay? I'm going to graph these points. So I have 4 and negative 2. Positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 2 is down 1, 2. Okay? This was Z prime. All right? That's 4 and negative 2. X prime is positive 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is X prime. And then y is 0 and negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is y prime. All right, and so that's where it's moved to. When you rotate it two times to the left, this is where it lands. So that's my image. I need to connect my points a little bit better. 
All right, so now the next move, well, let me put in these order pairs. Let's put these order pairs in here. Um, X is six and negative four, and Y is zero and negative six, okay? All right, so now we're gonna dilate. Okay, it says dilate. That means to get bigger or smaller by scale factor. Your scale factor here, K, is equal to 3 over 2. So you're going to multiply each of these ordered pairs, each of the X and the Y, by 3 over 2. So to get your new ordered pair here, you, uh, which is going to be X prime prime, you want to get Y prime prime, and you want to get Z prime prime. Second time that it's going to move. This is the second transformation that we're going to perform. So we're going to say 6 times 3 over 2, negative 4 times 3 over 2, 0 times 3 over 2, negative 6 times 3 over 2, 4 times 3 over 2, uh, and um, negative 2 times 3 over 2, or the decimal for 3 over 2 is 1.5, okay? So we are going to use our calculator to multiply each of those, the X and the Y coordinate, our X coordinate and our Y coordinate, the numbers in the parentheses, both by 3 over 4 or 1.5. Okay? All right. Move this out the way. Okay, so we have 6 times 1.5, and that you see how that gives us 9. So this is going to be 9 here. Then we have negative 4. Negative is right here. You type in 4 times 1.5, and that's negative 6. Then we have 0 times, if you don't remember that that's 0, type it in. Okay. Then you have negative 6 times 1.5. Okay, and that's negative 9. Then you have 4 times 1.5, which is 6, positive 6. And I'm going to type in the fraction this time. So you can see how to type in the fraction. Negative 2 times, and instead of writing 1.5, I'm going to do 3 over 4. You see how I put that in parentheses? The parentheses are right here above 8 and 9. Division sign is what we use for our fraction bar. We type 3, not 3 over, a little more. It's 4. Or is it 2? Two? 2, 3. I had it right the first time. 3 over 2. Okay, that's better. My goodness. And that again, that's going to give us negative 3. Okay. So these are our new ordered pairs for a dilation. So I'm going to graph this. We have 9, positive 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and negative 6, down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is X prime prime. Z I'm sorry, y prime prime is 0 and negative 9. So let's go down. This is 6, 7, 8, 9. This is y prime prime. And this is positive 6 and negative 3. So go over positive 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 3. 1, 2, 3. This is z prime prime. So I'm going to connect it and what happened is that it grew. It got 1.5 times bigger than this one. Okay? So we dilated where this one was, where this one is. The second move, we dilated to make the third move and all it did was just get bigger. Okay? It got 1.5 times bigger. All right, let's look at this number 5. Okay, so we're going to graph these ordered pairs. This is my pre-image because you don't see any tick marks on these ordered pairs. I'm going to make my y-axis and my x-axis a little bit darker. This is just, for me, it's harder to see. So I just make it a little darker. We have negative 3, so that's to the left. 
1, 2, 3. Negative 4 is down, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So all I'm doing is graphing these ordered pairs. 0 is here. Negative 3 is down, 1, 2, and 3. This is Q. R is negative 1, to the left, negative 1, and then down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is R. Okay? S is negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left, and down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Right here is 9. This is S. So I'm going to connect this quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a four-sided figure. Okay? We're going to translate. We're using this vector. We're translating. 7 is the X. Remember, X is left, right. Since it's positive 7, we're going 7 units to the right. Okay? DHT, sorry. And 0, uh, Y is up, down, and you're not moving at all. So your Y is going to stay the same. That's how you read this vector. Okay, make that a little clear. All right, so we're just going to move everything 7 units to the right. That's all we're doing here. All right, so 7 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is my new location for Q. This is Q prime. R. 1, 2, wait a minute. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is my new location for R. This is R prime. Okay. S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is my new location for S. S prime. Prime. P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is my new location for P. P prime. Okay, so all we did was just slide this object over 7 units to the left. So really, all we're doing is adding 7 to our X. And you add 7 to your X. And you don't do anything to Y because you didn't go up or down. You just slid it over 7. So this new order pair, if I add 7 to negative 3, then that's going to be a negative 4. Okay? And leave the second, leave Y alone. If I add 7 to 0, right here, this is my X. Add 7 to it, that gives me 7. Leave, uh, leave Y alone. Didn't do anything to Y. Okay? Didn't go up or down. Here, I add 7, that's negative 6. Leave Y alone. If I add 7 to negative 4, that gives me a, a negative, positive 3, sorry. And leave the um, Y alone. Tongue tied, right? Okay. All right. Wait a minute, I did it, messed up O R. Get positive six. Okay. All right. Number. Oh, forgot to do this one. Ninety degrees counterclockwise. Ninety degrees is a one turn. Okay. Remember, this is in our notes. Ninety is one turn. One eighty is two. Two seventy is three. Okay. And three sixty is four. It looks like it didn't even move. Counterclockwise is turning it like a clock to the left. Okay, so we are going to turn one. We're going to turn one time to the left. So we're going to pick the picture up and turn it just like this to the left. Okay, so now the picture is, is sideways. The what we're looking for is the one that's already prime. Okay, so, because we're moving it for a second time. So this time we move it, it's going to be prime prime. Okay? Fold this paper. All right, we're gonna write these new ordered pairs down. We got P first, P prime prime is right here. 
I move to the right one, two, three, four times. So that's positive four and up one, two, three, four, four, four. Okay. Then we have Q prime prime. Your new location for Q is right here. Start at the origin, go to the right one, two, three times and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So that's three comma seven. Three, okay. And then we have R prime prime. Second time R has moved, second transformation. R is right here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And up one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, comma, six. Okay. And um, S prime. S, I'm sorry, S prime prime. The second time S is moved. Start at the origin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Nine and three. Okay. Nine and three. All right. So now I'm going to turn this back and I'm going to graph these ordered pairs. Remember this turned, so it's going to be in this quadrant right here. So I'm going to graph these order pairs. So the order pair is going to be, and I'm going to gonna write them here, got P prime prime, which is 4 comma 4. Sorry, slide this down. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is P prime prime. Okay. Then we have Q prime prime. Is three and seven. Okay, remember I just did those. I'm just writing it on my paper. So go over one, two, three, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Q prime prime. Then we have R prime prime is eight, six, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is R prime prime. Then we have S prime prime, which is nine, six. So this is over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three. Is that right? Yeah. This is S prime prime. And the object, all it did was, was turn, okay? It made a rotation, it turned, okay? All right, so let's look at the bottom two. Let's look at the bottom two. We have scale factor. Remember your scale factor? Formula for scale factor, we wrote this yesterday, is image divided by pre-image, okay? Image divided by pre-image. Okay, so this is how this works. You're going to pick a point from, just one point. You're going to pick one point from your pre-image and one point from, from your image. And I used D yesterday. So I'm going to do my pre-image for D and my image, write down my image point for D. Okay. All right. So start at, let me find. Oh my God. You know, I didn't realize that the X and Y was all the way over here. Lord, have mercy. So yesterday I did that wrong, y'all. Oh my goodness. All right. So we start here and we're going to go to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this is thirteen, negative thirteen, negative fourteen actually. Negative fourteen and one, two, three, four, five. So negative fourteen and five. Remember your pre-image is the one without the tick marks. This is your image after the move. Okay, so let's go back and count. One 
This is negative because you're going to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative eight, and positive one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, right. Okay, so now I'm either going to choose to use my X's for my, to find my um, scale factor, or I'm going to choose my Y's. It doesn't matter, but you can't do both. Either choose the X's or choose the Y's, okay? All right, so let me see here. Um, make sure I got this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's right. All right. Well, that's right. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, that's right too. All right, I ain't gonna argue with it. Okay, so here we go. So my image, let's use my x's. My image is going to be uh, negative eight. So I'm put negative eight on the top, and my pre-image is going to be negative fourteen. Okay. Oops, I did it the other way around. Lord, please help me. Jesus, Jesus. All right, do it again. My image is negative 8, and my pre-image is negative 14. All right, so I did do it right. Okay, so now let's divide and see what you get there. Okay, so we got negative, negative 8 divided by a negative 14. It's already reduced. You can go math, enter, enter, and it's 4 over 7. I don't know why I said it was already reduced, because I'm tired. Or you can divide and make it a decimal. 4 divided by 7 is going to be 5.7 and some change, okay? Either way, this is your scale factor. And yesterday, we accidentally, I used this. I used the wrong lines for my X and my Y because I couldn't see it. My gosh, that's crazy, ain't it? Sorry, y'all. But that's okay. That's okay. We did that one together, and it's all right if you got something different. Um, let me really find the X and the Y this one, on this one. This is my Y axis. And this is my X axis. Make sure I really find it. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to do the same. Okay. Something happened there. I don't like the way I don't like the way this came out. Hold on, let me pause real quickly, y'all. Cause something is not right. I'm trying to figure out what I did. Hold on. Alright, so it, it's I double checked it. It's done correctly. It just looks weird. Alright. Let's continue. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna pick a point. I'm gonna pick. Let's let's use uh, let's use Q. Okay, All I gotta do is just use one point. Let's use. We need pre-image. Remember the pre is the Q without the tick marks, and the image after the move is the Q with the tick marks. Okay, so let's find Q without the tick marks is right here. So that's to the right. One, two. This is 3 and 1, 2. So this is 3, 2. I'll go ahead and take care of that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this one is 6, 8. This one works out better. I don't know what's going on with that first one. I don't like that one at all. All right, so here we go. Um, this is X, this is Y, this is X, this is Y. When you use the scale factor, only use either X or Y. Please make sure you don't use zero. Just don't use zero. All right, so here we go. I'm going to use the X's. 
So for my formula for K, my image goes on the top. My image is three and my pre-image is six. So when I reduce this, I get one half. So my answer is one half, okay? And that's it. Please make sure that you show your work, all right? Another thing, this one right here, um, they're both reductions because they both got, um, wait, wait, wait. Free image and image, image. Hold on, let me do this again. Double check myself. I think I'm just sleepy. All right, so they're half the size of each other, which means this one is twice as big as this one. So you can obviously see this one right here is two times as big as the one that's in the middle. Okay. All right, please make sure that you uh, study your notes. Make sure that you show all of your work. Have a good day.